Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, semantic versioning in NPM. Semantic versioning is the most important thing, one of the most important thing yet one of the most exploited thing by the developers on NPM. A uh, lot of developers generally follow semantic versioning, a lot of you know package maintainers or uh, package maintainer orgs doesn't follow semantic versioning but it is recommended to follow the semantic versioning. Let's talk about what semantic version means. Uh, to keep JavaScript ecosystem healthy, reliable and secure, every time you make significant update to the package, you won't be required to publish a new version of the packet with the updated version in the packet.json file. Right? So it says like whenever you are upgrading your package, be it a major upgrade, be a patch, be a minor upgrade, you should be uploading you should be updating your package version with the semantic behavior right and what does that mean like this this particular dog gives the idea but let's let's just you know see on our whiteboard what does it mean to have a semantic versioning right uh, so whenever you go to a package you will be seeing a version on it for example this is my project and whenever you go to package.json file of the project uh, you will see this particular uh, version out here. So this number give the version for a package currently, right? So NPM tells whenever you're upgrading this, you should be upgrading either this particular uh, last digit or the middle one or the first one. And that depends how, right? And that depends uh, on the scenario what you're making changes to the package. So let's just see. So there are three, for example, let's check example. 17.0.1 right this is the version and for a package version whenever you go to npm and just you know go to npm and take any package as an example take any package as an example for example uh, let's consider exios itself as we are taking example as exios a lot so i'll go here and you'll see a version out here right I'm talking about this particular version 0.27.2 so if i write it here let's take that example only that is 0.27.2 i guess this is this was the number 0.27.2 so as for semantic rules there are three parts of this versioning right first part is major upgrade so this says do a major upgrade when there is a you know breaking changes in your api let's just go to that site once again and just check uh, what does it mean right so this this things uh generally seal we also exploited this version before we wrote it at 0 0.0.1 but generally it tells first product release should go here but whenever you are starting you can start with like any uh, and whenever you're releasing your first product ideally we name it like 1.0.1 0, 0.0, 0. Uh, this is what happens so how does it map to these three uh, values right so whenever this is making just remember this is major change this is minor change and this is a patch right so what major change means so what major change means is this particular thing as you can see this was the version of our package and we are direct, we, we are up, upgrading this particular uh, digit which is a major change right changes that break the backward compatibility that means it there could be a breaking change that can break your app if you take this version suppose there is a api that says like get name right and it returns the first name if it is upgraded in a package get name will return the full name you might be doing something with that get name function in your code right while consuming that package that is changing to full name and you are doing something that doesn't support like two 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 you know words that support only first name one word so there it would break right so generally this number is given when you know there is a breaking change let's come to the middle one backward compatible right so you just see there is a from this there is an upgrade in only this particular version right this particular 
middle version that is a minor version so minor version says backward compatible features new features minor release right increment the middle digit and reset the last digit to zero so this is how it works whenever uh, you know we we are doing a minor change there is a rule for this increment of the first digit and reset the middle digit and last digit so start with this right and similarly for backward compatible bug fixes like there is a small patch you're doing that neither breaks your api neither you know it is also backward compatible then what we do we, we just increase the third letter right third third digit and we we call it a patch release right so i guess you have understood these three uh, things right you know major minor and patch right now the interesting part comes right you know most of the developer doesn't follow this semantic versioning they name like they 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 put the version anything maybe like you know if they, if they are upgrading from 1.0.1 and there is a breaking change sometimes what they do is they just do this or they just do this right when as a consumer if i'm consuming this version of the package if i'm updating to this particular uh, package version i'm thinking that there is a no breaking change but from the developer who have developed this package knows that there is a breaking change but they are not naming it this and and when i consume this as a consumer this would break on my end right so this is how it works so this is very important and all of them should follow it but it doesn't happen every time so one thing uh, to note like whenever you are creating a package and uploading make sure that you follow the semantic versioning right it depicts a lot and helps like consumer to for uh, you know follow the rules of semantic versioning and upgrading their packages so this type of semantic versioning calls out a new file known as packet log dot json that we have seen previously but there are a lot of things that happens in that packet log dot json file right that we are going to talk next i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye